What's up guys, this is Scythic back again with another uh, uh, pickups video of a bunch of stuff that I uh, picked up this weekend. It was a freaking hot ass weekend and uh, it was tough out there at the uh, swap meets and flea markets. It was just way too crazy but I was able to pick up some pretty cool stuff. And I walked into a Goodwill actually during the week and saw this boxed Aladdin doll. This is a, uh, it's it's in box, it's never been opened. It's uh, from 1992. And uh, looks like they seem to go for about 25 to 30 bucks on eBay and it was 4 dollars so I picked it up. Um, yeah, pretty, just, just, to, just to resell it, you know. Not really going to keep it, not really a fan of Aladdin, but it's kind of neat. Um, box is a little beat up, but other than that, like I said, it's in pretty mint shape, all in box, never opened, sealed. And along with that, I picked up these uh, Tyco Viewmaster 3Ds. They're the Little Mermaid ones. These are from 1990, and I picked up two of these. Uh, these were, uh, I believe, $2.99, so I'll probably maybe bundle these up as a, as a set or something. You know, sell them all together. Some Disney fan out there might want them. They're pretty neat stuff. That's pretty rare. Little Mermaid stuff seems to go for a few bucks. Um, next up, actually when I was paying for these, I looked behind the counter and, yep, another box set. I'm having a freaking... Uh, good luck with these box sets and uh, I, it was behind the counter I asked the lady is that for sale she's like yeah it just came in and um, it was $5.99 it's the one that comes with one two and three and then the bonus disc um, opened them up she said, she said I could look at them and the discs are in mint shape I don't know who the hell gives this stuff up for five bucks uh, the godfather this I'm gonna keep definitely for myself so that's a cool pickup and I stopped at another Goodwill and found a Japan, uh, Japanese uh, Famicom title. Uh, this one is a... Uh, it just says Super on it. I looked it up and it's a Super Quiz something something. It's like a party game or something like that. Um, and uh, this was a couple of bucks. two ninety nine. It's kind of hidden between some cassette tapes. And uh, now for the next stuff. Alright, sorry about that guys. Um, it was dinner time and uh, my girlfriend makes some killer food. So I had to, you know, stop the video and um, head to the kitchen and uh, feast. So uh, just to recap what we have so far, um, like I said, we got the Aladdin doll. We got the uh, Godfather box set. We got the uh, 3D View Masters from the 1990s Little Mermaid. And uh, a random Super uh, Japanese Super Nintendo game for a couple of bucks. Now for the good stuff, actually. Uh, let's see here. So I walked into another flea market this weekend and picked up Wild Arms for the PlayStation. This is a black uh, label. Uh, it was only uh, $2.98. Uh, now the, uh, it is missing the instructions, but the disc is there. And it's actually in pretty good shape. Um, you know, decent shape for its time. Uh, no deep uh, scratches or anything, but uh, as you can see, the missing uh, manual there. But a pretty cool pickup for 3 bucks. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, just picked up a Darius Twin for a couple of dollars at another Goodwill. I love shooters, so this will be a great uh, title to add to the SNES collection that I've got going. Now let's get to some of the last goodies here. Walked into another Goodwill, and for three bucks picked up Thunder Spirits. Now this, uh, you could totally tell, was a rental from a video store. And it's got the instruction manual in there and the game. Uh, they did have a few other games, but uh, eh, they weren't worth picking up for what they were asking. Uh, this one was pretty cheap, so got that. That's Thunder Spirits for the SNES. Uh, another shooter, which uh, I'm a big fan of shooters, so that's going to be pretty cool. And to the best parts, actually. Walked into another Goodwill and picked up this cool uh, Resident Evil 4. Uh, collectible laser cell. This is a uh, 57,000 of, uh, I guess, of 60,000 that were made. Um, has a little certificate of authenticity. It's a limited edition of 6,000, uh, 600,000, uh, 60,000 prints. And I uh, got this for uh, two bucks. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And last but not least, uh, actually, where I found this game, I found a pretty amazing find, actually. And that is Demon's Crest in box. Uh, this was just literally met, uh, mixed in with this game and a bunch of other throwaway titles actually in the VHS tapes. 
and this is only three ninety nine uh, as you can see there three ninety nine and you can see the date and it's complete it's got the manual the box is in amazing condition I don't know what the hell this game was doing there uh, for those of you who don't know this is like a side um, like a, a side story of um, Ghost and Goblins this is the demon that uh, pops out in the beginning of the game that flies around above you and uh, I guess Capcom re released this game a little bit after that it wasn't really popular and um, it's a pretty hard to find uh, title uh, let's open this up so we can check that out it's got the uh, the manuals warranty cards um, Nintendo Power Magazine advertisement and there's the manual for the game and let's check out the game itself so there we are and there we go Demon's Crest in mint shape cover dust cover and everything cardboard box so that's going to be an awesome title to add to the collection and uh, so yeah that's the loot for the weekend and uh, we'll see what this weekend has in store for us until next time once again this is Syphic signing out if you guys have any questions want to do any trades hit me up um, for some of you other guys who have hit me up I've been a little busy with the thrifting so I'll get back to you guys on other trades that I've got going but once again Demon's Crest for the Super NES great pickup Till next time guys take care lights